Proud of these guys. Um, I love this guy. I'm falling in love with this guy. I don't know you well enough to love you yet. I'm working on it. I do. I love it. I do. I do. Working on it. Um, you know, just a great win for Auburn. Great environment for college basketball. It felt like a March game. Didn't feel like November. Um, just, uh, I, I can't tell you the, the bench and how engaged they, they were. They're communicating with each other. Um, you know, Judge and I is a terrific leader. Uh, and, and he's led by example more this year than any year he's been there with his, with his attitude, with his practice, um, with his unselfishness, really. And so he just wins. He just wins. And he's, a, he's an absolute monster down in there. And, um, and his defense is, is, is awfully good. He can guard anybody out there on the floor. So really proud of my, my senior. And, um, and Todd's um, was a special young man. Um, he, uh, he's got great talent. And sometimes when you talk about guys' talent, you think they don't work at it. He's worked at his game, um, but absolutely not afraid of the moment. You know, both of them have got great families, great, great, great families, and they play for their families. They, these two guys play as much for the name on the front of their jersey as they do in the back, on the back of their jersey. That Broom family, it matters. That Pettifor family, it matters. And they both kind of, you know, they both fall in love with Auburn, and, and we're the beneficiary. Um, like my team, we got stuff to work on. We're going to get better. Right. And, 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 and last thing is, just Kelvin Sampson in Houston. Nobody does it better in this country. You know, the winningest program in the last four years, um, and he, he's one of the best coaches to ever coach this game. All right, we'll start with players for us, Berg. Tahan, you, you guys are down nine in the second half. You have best defense in the country. Just, what was the key for y'all to come back and you know know that shots were going to fall eventually? Um, we preached all week that it's a 40 minute game, it's not 20. So just because we were down doesn't mean that we're not going to have a run and come back. You know, we have to do. So we just kept pushing it until the clock is zero. Um, congratulations on your win, first and foremost. Um, despite the adversity you guys had traveling here, how did you stay focused to come out victorious on tonight's game? Um, Any, anybody here? Well, you know, uh, something happens, you know, but at the end of the day, we came in playing basketball. So, um, you know, everybody was locked in with each other. You know, we were, we were our brother's keeper. So, you know, we have a strong family here. Um, and we came out here and won, won the basketball game. Thank you. Chris, did you have one? Janai, what was it about their defense that you saw that took advantage of the, the high screens and, and you get easy, easy layup opportunities? Well, you know, uh, like you said, they have one of the best teams in the country. Um, so, you know, the coaches drew a great game, uh, game plan up. And, uh, you know, we started putting the ball screens and allowing them to put two on the ball and then taking advantage of disadvantages. And, uh, you know, we put the ball in to Hyde and Denver and our guards' hands and they, uh, you know, gave me good looks. I just finished. Yeah, just what do you say about the Hyde guy in his second game to have that the, the game that he did? Man, he's special, you know. Uh, I always give him a hard time. You know, uh, we have a good relationship um, and you know, he's a good brother to me. So it was so, it felt good to see him hitting big shots and leading this team as well um, to bigger. All right, one more for the players and then we'll let them go. Bro, we just really spoke about, can you just really mention, I know what was going through your mind when you saw the, your freshman right here knocking down the big shots and stepping up like he was saying. Man, it felt, like I said, it felt great. You know, um, once he hit one, you know, I know he can get high quick. So I started trying to find him a little bit more and I just kept giving him confidence to keep going. Don't stop, keep going, keep going. And he just kept delivering. So uh, it was great to see. Uh, three for coach. Right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. I, always, I know you always like to point to your assistants, especially when you have players. Yeah. Like, Omar Pergo and Stephen on offense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't say that from all my coaching staff, but our preparation. First of all, Stephen Pearl had to scout. Just an incredible game plan. Um, and um, man, he is ready. Um, and. Uh, Mike Burgermaster called every offensive play in the second half. I went with every I went with every play he he, he put forward, um, and we did a pretty good job designing some plays this week. We had we had some things in this week that we hadn't shown yet, and and we, we they particularly in the second half particularly late, and um, and so man, it's hard to get good looks um, and to shoot fifty seven percent in the second half against a, a Kelvin Simmons Simpson defense is uh, unheard of. Great execution and uh, great, great, great game. We got to go. It was a great, 
great, great, great organization. Thanks. Team effort. Henry and then Kristen. First in the second half defensively, y'all were able to limit LJ Cryer. What were, what'd y'all do defensively to kind of, to kind of limit You know, Denver Jones is one of the best defensive guards in the country, and nobody talks about it, okay, but I'm, I'm going to. Denver Jones is one of the best defensive guards in the country. He is big, strong, physical, fast, powerful, and he, he, he wants to win. There wasn't anybody in the locker room any happier than Denver, and he's a scorer. He led the Conference USA in scoring at Florida International. Came here to Auburn and just wants to win. And, you know, some of those, some of those, you know, just like taking Todd under his wing and Ty can do some special things offensively, but those other guys guard. How about Chris Moore and his defense? Um, how about Cheney Johnson and his stat line? I mean, Cheney Johnson was a Division II player a year and a half ago. And he was a against a you know a formidable physical front line in Houston and I you know I, I feel like I feel like you know our, I feel like our front line won that battle. All right Chris last question. Coach just what are your thoughts on your know, Auburn fans coming to support you? I mean it was amazing it's just Auburn being Auburn it's um it talks about how far our program has come it, it, it helped that football had a bye week this week and and so we sort of got that that football traveling uh, crowd, um, but they were entertained, and and uh, it was a, just a great game. And the game felt like it was March, didn't it? I mean, it felt like a tournament game. It didn't feel like an early November game. Um, uh, college basketball's in a pretty good in a pretty good spot right now.